but it's also a place where two people, whether it's the head coach or whether we're talking about Carson Wentz, two people understand it's their last chance, and they're going to do everything to work together to make it happen. We need to see Carson Wentz bring back that talent, but miss the hero ball, bring back some of those intangibles that we love, but miss the mistakes. And maybe Chicago can be the place for that when you have a defense you know will keep you in every game. How about you, Nick? What do you think? I like it. I think this is a high risk, high reward situation. So I would be concerned. I'd be a little worried about um, having Carson Wentz considering the the toll that he took mentally this season. That's the more concerning part because the talent hasn't disappeared. But we have to remember that his best season, that team was loaded. Like they had the best O line in mm. football and possibly the best D line in football that year. So I think he's a guy that when you protect him and you play, put everyone well, or put everyone good around him, he can surpass almost any player in this league but if things aren't ideal he can really tank the organization so I think that those are the two things they should be worried about is do they have the guys the right guys around him and does he have the mental makeup to endure the pressure that he's going to face in that situation because it's a must-win year in Chicago and that Chicago media is not kind as you know Mike and that is why I don't like it as much as you guys do here's the one part of what you said RC that I agree with I do not think that when you're a coach who knows you got to win right now you want to be starting with a rookie quarterback. So going out and getting a veteran, mm -hmm. I do agree with. But I don't think they're looking for a savior. And I'm not sure that's the right role for Carson Wentz right now. For me, Carson Wentz to Indianapolis makes a lot of sense. They just need someone to come in, manage yeah. games in a dome with a coach he knows and loves well, with another great, great defense, a great offensive line, and all that stuff. They need a lot less out of the quarterback than Wentz does. And right now, I believe, RC, Wentz needs a place that needs less, not more. Yeah, you know, look, I, I believe that as too. You know, I believe that if he goes to Indianapolis, this is a place that we felt has always been just a quarterback away. And if you look, they took the Buffalo Bills to the brink in the, uh, the division round of the playoffs because of some of those things they had pieced around him. But still, when you think about Carson Wentz and you think about what they need in Chicago, that's a place I believe that's willing to give up more for him. The Indianapolis Colts know that they're the desirable site, not necessarily Carson Wentz. The Chicago Bears understand that they need another quarterback, and it can't be a rookie. I get it. I totally agree. There's nothing you're saying that I'm disagreeing with. I am, however, saying, and, and maybe this comes from having lived there for 11 years and covered that team for a long time, that, Dominique, feels to me like the potential for a disaster waiting to happen. You say it's the last shot for both of those guys. I could see that turning out to be the last well, for both of them. It's not the last shot for Carson Wentz. One thing we've learned about quarterbacks is if you show a little glimpse, you got to show a glimpse. Everybody <laughs> thinks that they can so make you better than you were. So you're a chance. Yeah, that's all they need. They just need a chance, and they'll convince themselves, I'm the guy that's going to get him back to great. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.